okay so today we are going to learn uh, some, something called a system of differential equations where we will take only first order differential equations so i'll write it here we will basically look at first order differential equations in the system okay so let me give you brief introduction so consider an example I take two differential equations say let me say dy by dt plus x is equal to e raised to t and dx by dt plus say 2y is equal to say something called a sine t okay here x and y depend on t they depend on t so x and y are dependent variables okay and t is independent variable right so these two equations together is called as a system of differential equation let me take one more example say second example let me take again x and y depending on t and t a b an independent variable let me take d2y by dx dt square plus y plus 5 uh, d dx by dt i can put a derivative with respect to of x also is equal to say something t and d2x by dt square plus something like 4x plus dy by dt is equal to say e raised to t again these two set of equations together uh, will form a system of difference it is something like this you know 2x plus 3y equal to say 7 and 4x plus 5y equal to some 8 right? this is a system of different this is a system of linear equations right instead of having x and y here you can now in these uh, system of differential equations you can also have x dash y y dash c this is y double dash okay you can have y you can have x dash and then you can have something here on the right hand side which is a function of what which is a function of t okay so let me give you three four examples so that it will be clear how does a system exactly look like you can have even a system which is looking of the form dx by dt is equal to say let me take x plus y basically we will be focusing on such type of things okay and dy by dt is equal to uh, let me say 2x minus 3y so this is again a system of differential equations and what i will do is now henceforward whenever i write uh, x dash so let me write henceforward uh, i will denote uh, this dx by dt by x dash okay and dy by dt as y dash so this means that the above differential equations the above system of equations can be written in the form of what x dash equal to x plus y and y dash equal to 2x minus 3y so this now looks like a system of first order see this is first order first order differential equation in x and y and what are x and y depending on x and y depending on t okay now what i will do i will in short i will also denote capital x and start denoting capital x by a vector x comma y and therefore what is the vector capital x dash when you take the derivative uh, obviously this derivative is means derivative with respect to derivative with respect to time okay so this will mean it is x dash and y dash right so if i if i if i'm having three uh, differential equations in that case i will denote it by x y z and in that case what will be capital capital 
capital X dash in that case capital X dash will be denoting what X dash Y dash and Z dash okay so these are all my uh, shortcut notions for this particular thing so now if you use all these things and try to write this particular system so let me take a system uh, say dx by dt is equal to 2x plus y and dy by dt is suppose i'm going to write it as so 3x minus 5y so this is also a system of first order differential equations two equations now how am i going to write this in short okay we can write this as what x dash equal to 2x plus y y dash equal to 3x minus 5y and more short we can also write it in the form of a vector which is x dash y dash and this 2x plus y and 3x minus 5y can be written in the form of a matrix 2 1 3 minus 5 and multiplied by which vector multiplied by the vector x y because what is the multiplication of these two matrices 2x plus 1y and 3x minus 5y right we know all know that this multiplication is 2x plus 1y and 3x minus 5y that is what is our x dash and y dash okay so we have written this above problem of system of differential equation in the form of matrix but what is x dash y dash what is vector x dash y dash vector x dash y dash will be denoted by just capital x right so this will be capital x dash is equal to this is a matrix that matrix is 2 1 3 minus 5 and what is x y what is what the vector x y we're going to denote as if we have x y we are going to denote it as what capital x so this will be the another form of this particular system can be written in the matrix form in this fashion okay uh, suppose i have uh, suppose i have x the dx by dt is equal to 2x plus 3y plus 5z i have dy by dt is equal to 4x plus 5y z then i have dz by dt equal to 6x minus y plus 7z then this can be written as what we can write this particular system in which for particular format we can write it as x dash y dash z dash which is your actually your capital x dash okay is equal to what is equal to you get a matrix here and you get a x here so this what is the matrix entries of the matrix 2 3 5 4 5 7 6 minus 1 7 okay this is the way you will write the above system of differential equations in a matrix form once you write them in matrix sam then it becomes easy for us to solve the problem so i hope this uh, system of what exactly system of differential equations are we going to look in this chapter we are going to look at we will consider which type of systems we'll be basically looking at systems which are of this form dx by dt is equal to ax plus by and dy by dt is equal to cx plus dy okay we will be considering this type of system in this chapter okay this is a 2 by 2 this will give rise to 2 by 2 matrix and we will also do what in the same chapter we will also consider three differential equations x dash y dash z dash okay and then in that case so we will get what x dash equal to matrix a times x this matrix will be what this matrix will be a 3 by 3 matrix this above problem is x dash equal to ax is a matrix which is of the size 2 by 2 so once we study this the same theory will be extended to a 
three by three matrix also then so remember this will be our aim of our chapter we will solve all problems of this time all systems of this time okay so before going to that let us now see if you are given a differential equation okay how will you convert a differential equation of second order or a third order into a system okay so let me just write the title so how will you convert a differential equation into a system of differential equation let me see one okay, let me take one example okay so let's take the simplest example i'm taking d2y by dt square plus uh, y is equal to zero okay this is as good as what is the differential equation y double dash plus y equal to zero okay now what i will do is uh, i will first step will be take the first derivative so consider dy by dt okay and call this dy by dt as some uh, different variable call it some different variable i'm going to call it say x okay and therefore what is if i differentiate this particular equation what will i get when i differentiate it i will get d2y by dx square so no d2y by dt square i'm differentiating with respect to d is equal to what dx by dt okay and now if i look at equation one from equation one what will i get from equation one i'm getting the d2y by dt square can be replaced by what by equation one it can be replaced by minus y is equal to x by dt only so if you have a second order differential equation you have to do only one substitution what is that substitution dy by dt is equal to x and then you will get this therefore what is our system do we see that we have obtained a system what is the system the system is you know is, is of the form dx by sorry dx do the something and dy by dt is equal to something right So what is dx by dt from the above thing? You know that dx by dt is how much? dx by dt is minus y. And what is dy by dt equal to? dy by dt is equal to x, which is of the form what? Zero times x minus one times y. See, I'm trying to fit it in this form. Okay, and what? what what about dy by dt dy by dt is how much it is x which is equal to 1x plus 0y therefore the above differential equation what about the differential equation y double dash plus y equal to 0 gives rise to which type of system x dash equal to what is the matrix here matrix is 0 minus 1 1 0 x what is x x is nothing but here x is nothing but little x and little y okay so this differential equation gives rise to this particular system let us take one more example so that will be more thorough in that okay let me take uh, find the system corresponding to it okay find the system corresponding to d2y by dt square plus 5 dy by dt plus 6y equal to 0 okay so what i will do as I will again take so let our standard substitution is let dy by dt. I'm going to let dy by dt is suppose x. Okay, and therefore what is d2y by dt square? D2y by dt square will become dx by dt. But I know what is d2y by dx dt square from one. Okay, so from one, 
modulo d2 y by dt square become minus 5 dy by dt minus 6 y is equal to how much dx by dt right so what is the system that i'm getting so system so the system that i'm getting is system is always of the form dx by dt equal to something dy by dt equal to something what is dy by dt equal to dy by dt is equal to x so this is becoming x what is dx by dt equal to dx by dt is equal to minus 5 minus 5 dy by dt but dy by dt is x this is x right minus 6y so this is as good as 1x plus 0y so this gives rise to a system capital x dash is equal to matrix minus 5 minus 6 1 0 capital x okay let me move on to one more example so that i will be confirmed that it is understood d2x by convert the system convert the differential equation into system so d2x by dt square plus 4 dx by dt plus 5x is equal to 0 so not a big issue now here what i will do you know that you have to do only one uh, substitution so here i will say put dx by dt equal to y okay in earlier problem i substituted what i have substituted differential equation was with respect to y so i substituted dy by dt equal to x okay you know you have to play with only two variables so if this is so then d2x by dt square will become what it will become dy by dt and therefore what is d2x by dt square d2x by dt square will become minus 4 dx by dt by equation 1 okay minus 5x is equal to what dy by dt right once i do this i immediately can write the system what is the system now the system is of the form dx by dt equal to something and dy by dt equal to something okay what is dy by dt equal to dy by dt dx by dt is y so this is directly our assumption this is y and what is dy by dt it is here dy by dt is minus 4 dx by dt but dx by dt is how much dx by dt is y minus this is y okay minus 5x so this gives rise to a system capital x dash is equal to the matrix will be what 0 1 because y is nothing but 0 x plus 1 y 0 1 minus 4 sorry minus 5 and minus 4 because x has coefficient minus 5 and y has coefficient minus 4 into capital x okay so these this is the situation if the differential equation is given a derivative with respect to t okay so suppose i'm asking you a question like this suppose convert the differential equation say i'm writing it as y double dash plus 2y dash okay minus y equal to e raised to x now when you look at this type of differential equation you it is immediately understood that this derivative this y i'm going to write it as what y is a function of x so this means that means that it is d2y by dx square plus 2 dy by dx minus y is equal to e raised to x okay and right so now what am i going to do here i'm again going to 
use a substitution here. What substitution I want to use here? Now I'm going to say that put dy by dx. Put dy by dx as some u. Okay. Because now there is no t in the picture. Okay. Earlier y was a function of t. X was also a function of t. Right. So that is why we use dy by dx equal to x uh, dy by dt is equal to x and dt by dx by dt equal to y okay now your y is itself depending on x so i will say put dy by dx equal to u if that happens what will happen this means that you know, d2y by dx square i'm differentiating both sides with respect to with respect to x okay so this will become du by dx but what is dy by dx square from equation one? So from equation, so the technique is same, only the variables have changed their names, the roles have changed. So what is dy by dx, d2y by dx square plus dx square given by? It is given by minus two dy by dx plus y is equal to du by dx. And therefore I got my system immediately. Now, who are the people who are going to come in the system? Remember this that role of t is played by whom here? It is played by x. So that will not come in the picture. So you will get what? y dash dy by dx is equal to something and du by dx is equal to something. So who is dy by dx equal to? Who is dy by dx? dy by dx will be u. Okay, and what is du by dx equal to? du by dx is from this minus 2 dy by dx is u plus y. Therefore, when I write this in a system, this is y dash, this is u dash equal to something multiplied by y u. So, here, what should I write in the matrix? For there is 0y plus 1u. And in the second equation, I have minus 2, minus, not minus 2, I will have what? 1y minus 2u, okay? You can also interchange the for first row and second row. It is not all, it is not compulsory that y dash must come as the first row and u dash must come as the second row. Suppose you write it as, you write du by dx first and then you write dy by dx second in that case what will happen in that case your matrix will look like this see what will happen it will become z one u plus zero y no harm okay you can even do this also so u dash y dash will look in the form of what it will look like minus two one minus two then one and one zero ui okay no harm this is also correct Okay, only remember one thing that if I'm writing a y dash here, upstairs y, y must come. If I'm writing u dash here, then I must have a u here. See, u dash is here and I'm having a y dash with a y here. Okay, don't mix up that u and v. In. Otherwise, so this system and this system both are correct. Both are equivalent. Okay, but if you make the entries wrong, see entries are different in the matrix. Okay, if you, if you don't write this combination correctly when you write the matrix, then you may get the wrong answer okay so this is uh, i'm sorry i forgot uh, something here i forgot this e is to x in the problem e, this for this so for the time being let us take it to be zero okay suppose i take it to be zero so then it will it will correct my solution okay? so this will be the answer okay now, not always in all the differential equations, you may get the right hand side equal to zero. Sometimes the right hand side may have something. So, for example, suppose I'm looking at y double dash minus y is equal to same thing sine x, where y is a function of x. Okay. Now, how will I convert this particular thing into a system of differential equations okay so this means that uh, 
I will just write not necessary. I want to write it in the matrix form. I'm just I just want the system. Okay, so let me say write the system not necessary in the matrix form. Okay, so I will say let uh, so this is as good as looking as what? So this is good as looking as d two y by d x square minus y equal to sine x. Let d y by d x is equal to say I am writing u. So when I differentiate it, what will I get? I will get d two y by d x square is equal to d u by d x. I have differentiated both side with respect to x. And now from equation one, when I substitute uh, when I substitute d d two y by d x square, what will I get? I'll get y plus sine x is equal to what d u by d x. And therefore, what is the system that I'm going to get? The system that I'm going to get is I will have two people. First is y with respect to x, and then I will have a u with respect to x. Okay. And what should I write for d y by d x equal to d y by d x was equal to u. Okay. And what is d two u by d x square? Uh, d two u by d x. D two u by d x is equal to how much? Y plus sine x. Okay. So this is the system. If you insist that I want to write it in the matrix form, I will show you the matrix form. Okay. It will be d y dash u dash is equal to this u can be written as zero y Plus one u, and what is this written as? This is written as one y plus zero u. Why I'm writing y first and u second? I'm writing a y first and u second because I have a y and a u here. Okay, so that I get when I multiply, I will get y, and I will get a u second coin. Okay, plus sine x. Okay, so this what will the entries of the matrix become? The entries of the matrix will become zero one. One zero, okay, and there is an extra sine x over here, but there is nothing over here, right? So this will be I am writing a zero vector and I am adding the sine x here. So this is looking like what? This is looking like x dash equal to who is your x now? Your x is vector y comma u, okay? X dash equal to matrix zero one one zero x plus the vector. Zero and sine x. So this is looking of the form x dash equal to a x plus b. So this is called as a non-homogeneous system of differential equation. Correct? This is non-homogeneous system of differential equations. What is a homogeneous system of differential equation? Whereas x dash, if you just have a problem which 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 will fit as X dash equal to a x, and you don't need anything x, anything like this. Then this type of system will be called as a homogeneous system of differential equations. Okay, so in all above examples, I have shown you the uh, except this problem. Okay, except this problem, all the above problems that I've shown you were the problems of. See, you could write them in this particular format: x dash equal to a x. Okay, so this was also a homogeneous type of differential equation. So even the above problem, if you see, all those problems were system were adjusted in the in form of system of homogeneous differential equations. Okay, so remember, whenever you have any type of question which will say that convert the following system or convert the following differential equation into system of matter. You have to first look that if the differential equation that I'm given, if that itself is non-homogeneous, if that is non-homogeneous, then the system of differential equations will also become non-homogeneous. If it doesn't happen, then what system kya ho ja, hota tha? Linear system. Ho jata tha. Okay. And in that case, I can write it in the form of x dash equal to ax sometimes it happens that you are also needed to find a system which is having third order so y double dash y triple dash minus y equal to zero suppose i take this type of differential equation and here i'm not mentioning anything here i'm not writing 
anything and i just say convert this particular system into system of, of linear differential equation then in that case it is it is your choice so you say uh, fine so i will say that assume that this is a differential equation with uh, t as a variable and i will say that put so this is the differential equation which is originally given to me in that case i if the if the equation is of third order then i will need two substitutions okay now what will be the substitutions it is very simple to guess so put dy by dt is equal to x and uh, and put d2y by dx dt squared because you will need two derivatives okay i am going to say put it as z okay these are the two substitutions that we will use once i do this okay what will happen this will mean that when i differentiate the last equation okay with respect to t what will i get i will get d3y by dt cube is equal to what dz by dt and then i can substitute the value of d2y by dt cube from equation 1 and from equation 1 what is d d3y by dt cube it is just y okay y is equal to dz by dt and now once this is done i can write the system immediately what are the three people that are going to come in the system the three people that are going to come in the system is dx by dt dy by dt and dz by dt what is dx by dt dx by dt was uh, where is dx by dt I should I write it here okay when I differentiate this I will get d2y by dx square dt square is equal to dx by dt so what is dx by dt equal to dx by dt is d2y by dt square but what is d2y by dt square it is only z okay this is z so dx by dt is just z what is dy by remember you want to write a matrix here and multiplied by what multiplied by x y z so the coefficient so if you have z this is as good as 0 x plus 0 y plus 1 z so the matrix is 0 0 1 okay parallelly that also is going in my mind okay what is dy by dt dy by dt is just dy by dt is just x so it is x so this will become what 1 x plus 0 y plus 0 z and what is dz by dt equal to i know that dz by dt came up to be after substitution it came up to be just y so this is 0 x plus 1 y plus 0 z so the system finally becomes x dash equal to the matrix is given by 0 0 1 1 0 0 and 0 1 0 x where what is capital x where capital x is to be what x y and z okay so in this uh, section we are going to learn the method to solve the system x dash equal to ax where a is a 2 by 2 matrix which is having real and distinct eigenvalues so let the two real and distinct real and distinct eigenvalues b lambda 1 and lambda 2 now lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real and they are distinct means lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 means they are two different eigenvalues okay then We calculate V1 bar and V2 bar, the two eigen vectors, two eigen vectors of A corresponding to lambda 1 and lambda 2. Now, once you do this, then the general solution will be written as x of t is equal to c1 v1 bar e power lambda 1 t 
and plus c2 v2 bar e power lambda 2 t okay this will be the general solution where c1 and c2 are real in the constants okay so now let us see how to solve a problem on this so question solve x dash equal to 8x minus 3y and y dash equal to 16x minus 8y so solution putting in the matrix form you will get x dash y dash is equal to 8 minus 3 16 minus 8 x y but i know that what is x and y this i'm going to denote by capital x so this is capital x matrix is 8 minus 3 16 minus 8 and this is x dash where x is nothing but x y okay and what is the derivative the derivative is nothing but x dash y dash which i'm assuming to be dx by dt and dy by dt okay so we have to focus on this system now we want to solve this system what is the mat what does the method say you look at the matrix a what is the matrix a here here a is matrix 8 minus 3 16 minus 8 okay let us calculate the characteristic polynomial of this matrix we know that characteristic polynomial is lambda minus trace of matrix a lambda plus determinant of a is equal to zero this characteristic equation which is lambda square trace is zero because eight and minus eight becomes zero as zero lambda and determinant is minus 64 plus 48 sorry equal to zero and this turns into minus 16 so we get lambda square minus 16 is equal to zero and therefore your eigenvalue lambda is plus minus four okay so what is your first eigenvalue four and the second eigenvalue is minus four now let us calculate the first eigenvector v1 bar what is v1 bar you know you calculate you consider what you consider a minus lambda one i which is a minus lambda one is four i which is equal to eight minus three sixteen minus eight minus four times identity matrix four zero zero four which is equal to four minus three sixteen and minus 12 you have to make one row zero for getting an eigenvector one row must turn up to be zero so if you divide the second row just by four this will become four minus three four minus three and therefore when it when i do r2 minus r1 and i put the change in r2 so this will mean that i will get 4 minus 3 0 0 okay and uh, now what will happen now because of this who is the leading variable and who is the free variable obviously x is leading variable and y becomes the free variable so y is free so i can put y equal to t and if t is a real number 
and what is the equation i get from the first row the equation i get from the first row is 4x minus 3y is equal to 0 and therefore 4x is 3y and which is equal to 3t and therefore x becomes equal to 3t upon 4 and therefore when i write xy i will get 3t upon 4 and t i will remove the fractional part 4 1 by 4 out and i will remove the t also so i will get 3 and a 4 will come here okay because i have multiplied by 1 by 4 outside so this means that the first eigenvector can be chosen to be 3 comma 4 remember do not keep fractional things inside the eigenvectors it will later on create your computations uh, it, it will it will make your computations much more tough so better keep integer entries inside the eigenvector so this is the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to 4 let us go for the second eigenvector now now we know that this, the second eigenvalue is minus 4 so when you consider a minus lambda 2 i which is minus 4 is plus 4 which is a plus 4 i which is equal to what is matrix a this is 4 0 0 4 and matrix a was 8 minus 3 16 minus 8 and that will become 12 minus 3 16 minus 4 and you divide again the second row and first row also can be divided first row can be divided by 3 and second row can be divided by what it can be divided by 4 so that this will become equivalent to 3 and 4 and minus 1 this will become 4 and minus 1 and therefore when you do r2 minus r1 and write that change in the second row the so second row will be replaced by 4 minus 1 0 0 and here again your x is leading variable and y is 3 so you can put y equal to t a t is the real number therefore the equation that i'm getting from the first line is 4x minus y is equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to y upon 4 which is t upon 4 so i got the value of y I got the value of x so your vector x comma y will become t upon 4 t remove the fractional part t upon 4 if i remove get a 1 and a 4 so this means the second eigenvector can be chosen to be 1 comma 4 corresponding to the eigenvalue minus 4 and the first eigenvector which was how much was the first second vector the first second vector was 3 comma 4 corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to 4 and therefore your general solution now becomes c1 v1 bar e power lambda 1 t plus c2 v2 bar e power lambda 2 t which is equal to c1 v1 bar is 3 4 e power 4t lambda 1 is 4 plus c2 v2 bar is 1 comma 4 e power minus 4t this is equal to if we compare this this will equal to c1 3c1 e raised to 4t and 4c1 e raised to 4t plus c2 e raised to minus 4t and 4c2 e raised to minus 4t when i add these two vectors i will get 3c1 e raised to 4t plus c2 e raised to minus 4t 4c1 e raised to 4t plus 4c2 e raised to minus 4t and this is nothing but your x of t but x of t was xt yt it was x and y right so this means that the simultaneous e the equations that the two equations that we took the solutions of the two equations we wanted to find x and y so what is the value of x here it is 3 c1 e raised to 4t 
plus c2 e raised to minus 40 and what is the value of y 4 c1 e raised to 40 plus 4 c2 e raised to minus 40 is the solution of the given pair of equations means given two differential equation of the system okay x dash equal to 3x plus 3y y dash equal to minus x minus y so the system can be written as x dash equal to 3 3 minus 1 minus 1 x where what is x where capital x is x divided by what is matrix a here matrix a is 3 3 minus 1 minus 1 so we will calculate the characteristic equation c lambda is lambda square minus trace of a plus determinant is equal to 0 so this means lambda square minus trace is addition of 3 and minus 1 which is 2 lambda plus determinant is minus 3 minus of minus 3 is plus 3 equal to 0 so determinant is 0 so lambda square minus 2 lambda equal to 0 therefore I will have lambda into lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 so the two eigenvalues are lambda equal to 0 and lambda equal to 2 so the first eigenvalue I'm calling lambda 1 is 0 and lambda 2 is 2 now let us go for calculating the eigenvector v1 bar so I will consider a minus lambda 1 equals i but lambda 1 is 0 so this is a minus 0 which is nothing but a which is equal to what is a matrix 3 3 minus 1 minus 1 so when I divide the first row by 3 itself this will become 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 now I can add the second row and the first row and put the change in the second row so I'll get 1 1 0 0 and if x is leading and y becomes the free variable so y is free and if I will put y equal to t that t is the real number what is the equation that I get from the first line I will get from this line I will get equation is x plus y equal to 0 if x is equal to minus y this means x is equal to minus t so I got x and I got y and therefore I will write x comma y is minus t t you can pull out a t or you can pull out a minus t no problem minus 1 1 so this means the first eigenvector can be chosen as minus 1 1 corresponding to the first eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to 0 let's go for the second eigenvector so it is a minus lambda 2i which is a minus the second eigenvalue is 2 so it a minus 2i which is equal to 3 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 times identity 2 times identity is 2 0 0 2 which will give me 1 3 minus 1 minus 3 I can simply add the second row with the first row and put it in the second row so this will give me 1 3 0 0 therefore x is leading and y is free so y is free so put y equal to t and t is the real number so this means the equation that i'm getting gets is x plus 3 y is equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to minus 3 y which means x is equal to minus 3 t 
and therefore the vector x comma y is minus 3t and t which is t out minus 3 1 and therefore I can choose the second vector to be equal to minus 3 1 for the eigenvalue lambda 2 equal to 2 what was the first eigenvector the first eigenvector was minus 1 1 for lambda 1 equal to eigenvalue was 0 and therefore my general solution becomes xt equal to c1 v1 bar e power lambda 1 t plus c2 v2 bar e power lambda 2 t which is c1 v1 bar is minus 1 1 e raised to 0 t plus c2 second eigenvector was minus 3 1 minus 3 1 e raised to 2 t and this means this is actually 1 so this is when I combine them I get minus c1 minus 3 c2 e raised to 2 t and c1 plus c2 e raised to 2t this is x t y t first this was your capital x therefore what is the solution of the system the solution of the system is x equal to something and y equal to something so we have here got that so minus c1 minus 3 c2 e is to 2t and c1 plus c2 e is to so this becomes the solution of your system okay so solve the system x dash equal to 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 3 and 0 0 2 x now here again we will find the eigenvalues of this matrix A and the characteristic polynomial will turn out to be lambda minus 1 lambda plus 1 into lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 because the matrix is what because the matrix is a upper triangular matrix so the eigenvalues that I will get the three eigenvalues that I will get will be 1 minus 1 and 2 okay corresponding to these three eigenvalues i will calculate the eigenvectors by the same method and i want you to check the eigenvectors come as follows the first eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 equal to 1 will turn out to be 1 0 0 the second eigenvector corresponding to lambda 2 equal to minus 1 will turn out to be minus 1 1 0 and the third eigenvector will turn out to be how much will turn out to be 1 1 1 so this i leave to you as a calculation okay and therefore what is the general solution that i'm going to get you know the general solution is c1 v1 bar e power lambda 1 t plus c2 v2 bar e power lambda 2 t plus c3 v3 bar e power lambda 3 t which is c1 v1 is 1 0 0 e power lambda 1 was 1 t e power t plus c2 minus 1 1 0 e power minus t plus c3 1 1 1 e raised to 2 t which is lambda 3 so this becomes your final solution for the given system